Crazy Hands, Ragtime, Ed Maracas, this might very well be the very first groove box. I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This is the Carousel, an utterly charming groove box synthesizer bass machine from 1976 made by Elgum. To quote Mike Medley in his fantastic but very dangerous in terms of I want to buy more synthesizers book Synth Gems 1, the Carousel can generate detailed composition with interlocking melodies, harmonies and bass, reminiscent of an entire synth rig from an early German electronic rock album. Carousel started its life as part of the big 444 Broadway organ that Elgum made. But in this format, it just becomes something entirely different. Once these things are out of their huge organ case, they just inspire to make different music. After Elgum did this, other manufacturers followed. CRB or Elka with their Vilgamat, it became a trend to sell these groove boxes basically separately. Let's have a look at the functions. We've got 15 rhythms on here that will influence both the drum patterns and the arpeggios. And of course, you can combine them if you press two at the same time. So now we're gonna do Afro Rock. Then we can add a bass line. This can be a walking bass or alternating. Then we can add a piano style chord. You get three different variations that you can mix. Then we can add the most exciting part, the ARPS or as it's called here, crazy hands.
And as you can hear, it will play more unusual chords. You can also set them to preset chords, but that requires a foot pedal that I don't have to change. <laughs> right now I can only play major chords if I do that, which gets boring fast. Since you can play more eerie combinations of notes spread across the keyboard, it allows for more eerie compositions. I made good use of that when I scored the movie Shock, which is out on the 15th of February across cinemas in Germany. Unusual for German cinema, it's a rather hardcore genre movie, a film noir. The Italian mob plays a role in this movie, so it makes sense to have an Italian instrument in there, especially because both the directors and me love the movies that came out of the 1970s of Italy, the Giallo movies. Bruno. Hey, na? Was machst du hier? Ich fahre nach Hause. Ja? Ja. Ich kein Scheiß. Ich weiß genau, was du hier machst. Du hörst jetzt auf damit. Fährst jetzt nach Hause und bleibst da. Alles klar? Alles klar. Komm. Those strings above are from the Oberheim Expander. The biggest drawback of the carousel is that you don't have single outputs for each voice. I think that's a mod I would love to have added to this, as you can add so much oomph to these drums once you process them. And then to have the bass separate and the arpeggio and maybe, maybe even the piano. Add echo and reverb and you are in 1970s Berlin. Or in 2024 Berlin. This harmonia inspired piece I carefully timed and layered different parts of this instrument and it sounds wonderful. So that only strengthens me in wanting to have a single output version of this. I'll let you know how that goes. Well, the carousel is a fantastic synthesizer, but sadly it's also extremely extremely rare. Riccardo Pietroni of the Museo del Synth Magigiano, where I first discovered this, only knows of 10 to be existing in its home country, Italy, and probably not many were made for export. According to Riccardo, one of the most famous users of this is Boris Blanc of Yellow, which kind of makes sense when you think about how both electronic yet lively this instrument sounds. On my Patreon you'll find the track and a sample pack as usual, and your support there is what keeps this channel going. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, do put them in the comments below and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye. One more thing, the riddle of the Ed Maracas button. What does it actually do? Well, you've got a beat. Then you press it. And it will give you another shaker. 
It doesn't work on all the beats. When there's already the shaker happening. Nothing. But that's the secret of Ed Maracas.